Rub up your engines! It's time for the Scotty Kilmer Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a car that won't start. It cranks and it cranks, but it won't start. My customer towed it over here because it was on the highway and it just stopped running while they were driving. Now there's tons of things that can make a car die, but when they die on a highway, a lot of times it's a broken fuel pump, so you can check the fuel pressure. Now I'm a mechanic, so I can hook up my fuel pressure gauge and see what the fuel pressure is. Just screw it on right here. And as you can see on the gauge, the pressure stayed at zero, so it's got no fuel pressure at all. And you can actually check that yourself. Just use your key, stick it in the valve, you can see no fuel is squirting out, so we know it's got no fuel pressure at all. Now there could be a bad fuel pump fuse or no power going to the fuel pump, so we'll check that. But we can see that it's got 12 volts power. And when we listen inside the fuel pump, we don't hear any humming, so the pump's not working at all. So on this Pontiac, we're going to have to change this gigantic fuel pump assembly and take the gas tank off to fix it. Now once we're under the car, we got to disconnect the electrical connections and we have to take the hoses off that feed the tank. This line twists and snaps off. You squeeze the plug and pull that off. Then you pry the little tab off the fuel line and uh, that slides off. It's just a snap connector. Then you have to wiggle the crap out of the gas feed line and pull it out of the way. Then on this model, you got to bend this heat shield out of the way. So you can get to the bolts that hold the tank on and loosen them. Then you take the two bolts that hold the straps on. And of course it's a good idea to have a jack holding the tank up. This has a little bit of gas in it. We might have to drain some out. And down slides the tank. We got lucky. There wasn't too much gas in it so it didn't spill and it came down pretty easy. Now the fuel pump is in here. We just swapped this unit out. You tap on the ring until it comes out. Then you compare them to make sure they're the same, and they're the same, so we can put them in. You just slide it in in the same position the old one was in. Then tap the lock and ring back in place. And on this GM model, they had a problem with the wiring harness. So the kit with the pump comes with new wiring, and you splice it on here. But the wires are color-coded, and the kit comes with the little crimps. You splice them and stick them inside and squeeze them like this. You get them nice and tight so they don't come loose. And then you have to be really creative using the jack in your hands to wiggle the tank in space so you can get it up high enough to get the straps on. Needless to say, there's a lot of cursing that goes with this. And eventually they get the straps on nice and tight. Then you snap all the fuel lines on. You put the gas feed hose line from the gas cap back on the tank. Then plug the electrical connection back in and lock it in place with the locker. Then before you finish putting it all back together, Let's crank it up and see if the thing starts. Well, here goes nothing. Success. So the next time your car stops running and won't start back up, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I'm done riding this carousel.